so I decided to do some research on Lisa Metner. Lisa Metner was born on November 7th in 1879 in Vienna. Her dad was an established lawyer and had a very successful firm. Um, because of this, she was able to receive a proper education and eventually went to become the second woman at the University of Vienna to receive a PhD in 1906. She received such PhD in physics. She then became the first woman to go to Max Planck's lectures and later became an assistant. And then she began to do work with Otto Hahn and they found radioactive isotopes. Um, during this time, because she was a woman, she wasn't able to actually receive the position that she should have been awarded. And because of this, she did not get paid. Meaning that her during this time, she was very fortunate that her parents were still able to financially support her. During World War One, she had to work with x-rays in order to aid with the war. But afterwards, she went back to Berlin to continue some of her research. Otto Hahn and her discovered protactinium in 1917, for which they won many awards. Later, she also helped discover the cause of the agar effect, and then became a professor and was actually the first female professor at the University of Berlin. During this time, she started to work with Otto Hahn on nuclear fission. Um, due to World War II, in 1938, she had to sneak into Sweden because of her Jewish descent. And so during that time, she started working with Bohr and her nephew, Otto French. During this time, Meitner and her nephew would send letters back and forth with Otto Hahn regarding this nuclear fission. Her and her nephew kind of explained how it worked through Einstein's E equals MC squared, essentially saying that the mass lost whenever it was split into two was then converted into energy and then they discovered that that energy would be able to have a lot of potential. They kind of explained it as if it were a giant raindrop and was unstable and so as you add more neutrons it would split into two. Afterwards Otto Hahn received the Nobel Peace Prize and he took all the credit um, because of her contributions to the nuclear fission, she was asked to help with the Manhattan Project, especially considering that her contribution was a big step in getting there. And she decided not to because she didn't want to see her work go towards um, destructive matters. She wanted it more as energy and decided to ultimately stick to her morals and just lecture around the United States. Ultimately, she ended up dying in Cambridge, Cambridge in 1968.